Okay, so here's the deal. I was playing Sonic Adventure 2, and I went to the Chow Garden to raise a Chow for some forgotten reason. Long story short, I accidentally kicked the thing. It was so much fun that I kicked it again. And again and again, and I threw it into the wall. Then I decided to buy a Chow specifically for the purpose of abusing. I got a purple Chow egg and tossed it into the wall. When the little purple bastard came into the world, I was waiting to kick him. I did that for a long time. Just kicking the chow around and throwing him against the wall and into the water to watch him flail around and hoping he'd drown. I never gave him a name or any small animals to play with or those crystal things to make him stronger. I didn't even bother to feed the damn thing and I wouldn't let him sleep. I just kept kicking him and throwing him like a football. When I got bored with the physical abuse, I started looking into the psychological torment. First I waited until he was starving, then I gave him food only to snatch it away before he could take a bite. Then I'd give the food to another chow to eat while he sat there watching and crying. Then I'd kick him. I'd also pet the other chow, or hold it and rock it like a baby while he'd watch. Then I'd kick him. Sometimes he'd scream and run away and I'd chase him and kick him into the water and watch him drown. This continued on until the chow turned two and went into his egg for his second transformation. I was waiting there to kick him when he emerged, but to my surprise the egg was empty. Now what I want to know is this. Did the Chow finally die, or did it escape somehow? I can't bear the thought of either, really, but I have to know. It's dead. <laughs>